Good morning friends. Dear brothers and sisters at this the other 167 channel I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today I'll be sharing about the care for the elderly. And the scripture portion is from the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 4. There we see regarding the old age god is speaking to isaiah and even to your old age i am who i am who will sustain you i have made you and i will carry you i will sustain you and i will rescue you shall we bow down in prayer for a minute Our gracious loving heavenly father we thank and praise you for this fellowship father god today we want to meditate your promise and help us to understand renew our faith and hope in the name of jesus christ we ask and pray amen dear brothers and sisters today i am very happy to share about the care of almighty god at our old age and today just know as i read or as you all heard about the promise what god has said to isaiah i have a question for you and that goes like this when do we get old do we have the answer to that question or do we understand that by the number of ages just a number or the physical appearance how do we understand the old age to this question my answer goes like this when our mind gets narrow and our body gets broadened we go grow old Yes dear brothers and sisters when we start thinking of our own ailments our own dependency our own lack of mobility climbing stairs getting down the stairs and restricted our mobility and our weaknesses sleeplessness and loss of memory or finding it very difficult to recollect all these things happens in mind and at that point of time we will be known as old people and at the same time second part when our body grows fat or bloated especially the middle part of our body it bloats without control and at that point of time our mobility will restrict we feel like depending on somebody that dependency itself is a very hard feeling and then even to tie our own shoes we find it difficult and to slip on to our walking shoes we find difficult all these things makes us weak and we will come to know that we are not up to the mark of the society we are getting old but to avoid all this we go for the help of all other things which is available in the market going for the dentist going to the ophthalmologist ophthalmologist and going for the gym going for swimming going for walking and parlors all these things will help help us to make us look young but it is not permanent it is totally temporary but the word of god what we are meditating today isaiah chapter 46 verse 4 it is a lifetime promise 
even after this life the promise is going to fulfill we have to prepare ourselves for the eschatology it's called life after death after this life on this earth god is promising us that he is going to take us along with him and he will give us the shelter he carries us he sustains us he rescues us because he made us in his own image in the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 26 we see lord god said to himself and we see there lord god made man in his own image it's a beautiful image what we have got from almighty god but the ruler of this earth the satan he snatches away the things from god the image of god and he uses them as his own people but he has not at all created anything of his own image he is not at all a creator and he has no rule over the living things but still he steals and people follow him so that the wrath of god came upon us but with all that god loved us so much so he says in the book of isaiah i made you and i carry you i sustain you and i rescue you such a wonderful promise today god has given us to understand and to meditate thank god for this wonderful opportunity and the fellowship and again to prophet isaiah god speaks to him and says chapter 1 verse 5 we see before i formed you in the womb i know you before you were born yes dear brothers and sisters even before our birth god sees us god has god knows about us even when we are in the womb of our mother and king david in the book of psalms 139 psalms verse 16 we see king david is talking to god your eyes saw my unformed body all the days ordained for me such a beautiful understanding of king david about the creator we have to come to this sort of understanding in our lifetime telling that yes our creator our almighty god who made us has seen us even when we are unformed and he he knows our day one and the last day of this earth he has seen us and he promises us telling today he made us he rescues us he carries us he sustains us yes dear sisters and brothers it's a awesome word to meditate and to strengthen our faith and hope and to understand this to, these things i have two to three quotations to share with you a beautiful quotation it goes like this the spirit never ages it stays forever younger yes even though we look older we enter into the old age our spirit is always at end and age is just a numbers and then the older the fiddle the sweeter the tune why god has given us the old age yes dear sir, dear brothers and sisters when we are young we are afraid of old age we have our own priorities but still when we are old we have law we want to sit with godly people meditate and to understand the scripture in depth and walk according to it and at that point of time our attitude our behavior or thinking everything will be tuned according to god's plan and purpose in our lives and isaiah again says and he praises the creator because he carries us and he rescues us at our old age even when our hair turns gray but to 
Temporarily, we do so many things to cover up, but it is not permanent. We should understand that knowing, giving our heart to God. To strengthen these scriptures, I wanted to share. I myself had a senior citizen home for five years. And I enjoyed with them, eight to ten of them were senior women with their old age. They came to my center, they were there and I was taking care of them. We had wonderful time of meditation, sharing, understanding and praying together. But after five years, when the pandemic entered all over the world, COVID, at that point of time, we were forced to close down that center. So the seniors who were with me, they all went back to their home. And that was a very, very painful day. Literally everybody cried, they wept to go back to their places. What I was providing them, that was also a temporary shelter for them, temporary care. But God Almighty says, He's always with us, He made us, He sustains us, He carries us, and He rescues us till the, at our old age. And when the hair turns gray, He's there for us. And in the Proverbs, King Solomon says, chapter 9, verse 12, If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. Yes, at the time of elderly people, we see that they are more mature, more quiet. They don't bounce back. They'll adjust, they accommodate everybody. So many good things happen. For sure, their wisdom, according to their wisdom, they'll be getting their rewards. And Paul says in his letters, Your grace is sufficient for me, Lord. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, we have to share this good news to everybody and to understand and to praise God for giving this life on this earth to prepare us for our next spiritual journey. And as Paul says, we have to thank God. Your grace is sufficient for me, Lord. I wanted to conclude this message today with this and if anybody is really blessed with this message, please sus subscribe to this channel and share with your family and friends. Thank you all. Have a blessed day. Shalom. Amen.